Hey church, my name's Nick, one of the pastors here at Hills Baptist, and we as a church community have been studying the book of Nehemiah. And one thing that stood out to me is the parallels between Nehemiah and Jesus. Nehemiah came from a place of prominence and privilege and he humbled himself to go and to join Israel in ruins and in poverty. He faces opposition from inside the people of God and outside the people of God. And when he comes to Jerusalem and after surveying the situation, realizing the state that Jerusalem is, he gathers uh, the nobles, the priests, all the leaders of Israel and he gives them a commission. He says, let's build the wall. And the Israelites gather together, each have their part to play, and they build the wall in 52 days, restoring the city of Jerusalem. Now, Jesus is in a place of privilege and promise. He humbles himself uh, to the point of joining the world and, and living as a human being. He faces opposition from within the people of God and outside the people of God. And after dying and rising again, he gathers his disciples and gives them a commission. He says in Matthew 28, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I've commanded. And surely I am with you to the very end of the age. Build the city of God by making disciples, sharing Jesus with all nations. And so this is the time for the church to step up, to work together, to each play our part in sharing Jesus with the world, leading people to follow Him. And that's gonna be hard. We have a lot going on in the church, amalgamation talks, building programs, ministry tasks. The most important thing for us to be doing is discipling, is making disciples. So where in your week is Jesus calling you to disciple, to, to have a conversation with someone about Jesus, to pray with someone, to open the Bible with someone? Church, we are praying for you that God would continue to bless you and equip you to do this great work for His glory.